Dara Cowan is off work on medical leave. She has been for more than a year. She works as an administrator at the rural municipality of Gravelberg, but she says she can't go back to work. I have anxiety. I have uh, moments of depression. Cowan says she was sexually harassed by Roland Levac, the former Reeve of the RM. An independent investigator backed her up on some, but not all, of her allegations. Levac admits leaving her inappropriate notes. He says they had a relationship, but it wasn't sexual. I guess at the time, I just saw it the other way that she was basically looking for help in a way, and I just, I guess I was there, and I I took it as that, what I was going to do, and it expanded out to the point that we started having a bit of a relationship. Very, some hugging, some kissing, that was it. Never once. Was I told, no, that was it. Cowan says she was afraid she would lose her job if she spoke up. She also complained about personal harassment from two current members of council. In that case, the independent investigator ruled against her and the council members deny she was ever harassed. But Cowan says she's been let down by the system. I just have been really disappointed in a lot of people and a lot of... um, Procedures in place that were supposed to, uh, I assumed, wrongly, would, would help me once I decided to make the complaint. Cowan's situation is not unique. CBC News has spoken to numerous workers in rural municipalities who say they've been bullied or harassed at work. Human resources consultants are called in to investigate these complaints. Marilyn McKenzie is one of them. There is a sort of a mindset culture that... Um, I, I really think it's due to no accountability, uh, and it's, it's like a small town, and people get uh, inside information on each other, and biases are formed, and, you know, alliances are formed, and it's, it's really quite, you know, it's almost quite similar to Big Brother. Victims say perpetrators are not being held accountable, and that the system is failing to protect them. They can make a complaint through occupational health and safety, but it's up to the RMs what they do with the findings, and in some cases, there may be no consequences at all. The provincial government says bullying and harassment at RMs is, quote, concerning. Workplace Safety Minister Don Morgan says a letter is being sent to the RMs. It will remind councillors to bring their conduct in line with the law. And if that doesn't work, Morgan says the province will consider a provincial review. And he said mandatory training hasn't been ruled out. But some victims and experts say the whole RM system needs to be overhauled. Well, I think because there's 296 RMs and because the municipal government doesn't enforce these code of conducts and these, um, the municipalities act like they're supposed to, um, that's why these RMs and these councils think that they can do whatever they want and get away with it. Some victims think that the RMs should be amalgamated to improve oversight and accountability. But that idea is unpopular with many of the RMs, and it's widely thought it could spell the end for any government that tries. So for now, victims say the system is leaving them exposed. Alicia Bridges, CBC News, Gravelberg.